Hey guys, how's it going? Good to see you, Nick Johnson here, coming from Sheet Happens HQ. I'm very excited because I'm here today to show you some of my, uh, I guess, secret weapons as a guitar player. Some of the stuff that makes me, me. One thing I really wanna talk about today is uh, arpeggios. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch of stuff with arpeggios. One of the things that kind of drew me to this technique uh, to begin with is the fact that I am left-handed. So uh, a lot of the stuff I do is driven by, let's say, one note per string, two note per string, there's going to be times where I don't actually know what I played <laughs> because sometimes some of the quicker lines are a little bit like that kind of knee jerk thing where I'm maybe hitting chromatics or double notes, etc., etc. And the final thing you should know is I'm in E flat. So keep that in mind. Basically, you know, the, the way I've always tried to view arpeggios is taking the, the weight or the pressure off my picking hand to worry about alternate picking every note. Okay, so this first thing, I'm just gonna run through a scale using these really simple arpeggio shapes. You could learn, you know, your dad could learn, maybe even your grandma could learn. So we're gonna start real slow here. Here's the shape. <laughs> and uh, really watch the picking hand too. And just for the sake of it, we're gonna go backwards too. What was interesting about that is I'm actually just picking once uh, with my middle finger. Anyway, so here's that same lick a little quicker. Within that too, there's a technique I developed, which is kind of this sweet picking thing. I'll never forget when I was about 14, 15 years old, I remember discovering a guitar player with a really Hard to pronounce name at the time. Uh, I thought it was Ingui, Ingvu. Well, who knew? Who knew what the name was going to be? So it was Ingve. And I remember the first time hearing a, a sweet picking arpeggio was in one of his songs, and I had to do everything in my power to kind of figure out how to do it. And of course, I learned it all wrong, and figured it out wrong. Uh, but by doing so, I developed sort of my own approach to sweet picking. And I'm going to show you that using that same left hand pattern. So here's the technique. Follow along. We're gonna go just real simple. So we should get. Just this kind of raking motion, real simple. So now we're gonna start with an upstroke and a hammer on at the end. So so watch closely again here. So you start getting this kind of like whipping motion. If I did it in a different spot, let's say off of G minor. If I moved up. Okay, so in that one spot. So again. Sounds terrible isolated. <laughs> but to get that kind of whipping motion, almost where it's a bit more of a percussive thing, I'm almost thinking of it as a rake into a note. That kind of thing. Without this hand, not the most beautiful sounding thing. But the way I would maybe use that, let's say I was an E minor. So I would try and just maybe fit it in as like a little percussive thing, like a little bit of a rake type of approach. That's something I've been developing for probably 20 years. 